So here's the latest addition to the Steadicam Merlin that I made. Um, I still haven't done anything to this to shorten it, but what I did here to at least try to compensate for some of that angular rotation I was talking about before, made a trimmable stage. Um, and it seems to actually have combated a lot of that, that problem. Uh, not fully. I still think it has to do with the sturdiness of this, but um, of the gimbal arm. But this seems to help a lot. So basically all I did was I took two of these, um, I guess they're just blank wall plates, you know, that you would put over like a, a, an outlet, an electrical outlet or a light switch that's no longer in use, and you basically just put one of these blank plates on it. They're plastic, so they're easy to cut through with the Dremel tool. And I cut a um, horizontal one on this one. And actually, it's two of them, so the other one I cut a vertical slot. And then I just took the two screws that normally would go into the wall and attached them to the other side with some uh, nuts over here. Uh, and on the inside, I don't know if you can see, I'm not going to take this apart, but on the inside there is a fender washer, I believe that's what it's called, and on the outside as well. Um, uh, lock washers um, I believe on the inside to help hold that in a little bit better um, I think that's what I did um, under the fender washer uh, maybe not actually I think I actually took that off I cannot remember you just have to kind of experiment with yourself to see how uh, sturdy it makes it but the point of the fender washers on the inside and the outside as well on either side of this bolt here is to keep this sturdy because this plastic is not very sturdy it's decent, but to support the weight of the camera, you have to have fender washers on either side of both bolts. So the same setup here, coming from the frame, goes right into this uh, conduit hanger, except it's reversed this time. Um, before, I had the, the head of the bolt in there, but now I've got, I don't know if you can see it, I actually got a nut inside there with a lock washer, as well as on the outside here, so inside and out. The head of the bolt actually goes on, in the inside, on top of the fender washer that's on the inside of that. And the same deal on this side too. The head of the bolt is right there and it sticks out, you know, so you can actually screw it in. Same principle here. The head of the bolt's on the inside of this so that you can slide it forward and back and left and right. And that just adjusts for the center of gravity of the camera a lot better because the camera mount is not always at the center of gravity from my experience. It may not ever be. Uh, I guess it kind of depends on the camera, man camera manufacturer. So. Um, any questions, uh, feel free to uh, comment or send me a message on there. Uh, the next project will be uh, finishing this, which I'll just kind of briefly show you. This is the, um, I haven't really figured out how to attach it to the um, a vest. I'm not really sure if I'm going to use a vest, but here's my arm and a vest uh, start at least of it. Uh, really rotates on here and attaches directly to the handle on this and uh, kind of briefly show it to you. Uh, attempt to. So the springs here. It keeps it pretty sturdy. This I can't get sturdy yet. I'm having some problems mounting it perfectly to this thing, but uh, I'm working on that still. So anyways, but that'll cushion a little bit at least to provide some weight uh, weight support for you because it, it's you know it gets kind of heavy holding this uh, all these weights especially if you're doing like a wedding or some kind of video like that where you have to film a lot. So uh, this will just help support it, helps keep it sturdy a little bit. Uh, I haven't really got to play with it yet because I don't have um, any way to mount it to myself. Uh, that's coming next. But so far so good on the springs. It, it keeps it balanced perfectly when the camera's on. So, Any questions again, comment or send me a message. Thanks.